Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Physiosaurus. In today's video, I am going to talk about the stability of the hip joint. Okay, so there are a few structures which are responsible to provide the stability of the hip joint, and there are four structures as well. So the first one is your bone. Okay, the second is ligament. Okay, the third one is capsules. and the fourth and the last one is acetabular labrum okay so these are the four structures which are responsible to provide the stability to the hip joint so let's talk about it one on one okay so the first is bone so as you know that in hip joint there are two bones involved okay so the one is pelvis and the second one is your femur okay so particularly if we talk about the femur then uh, there are also different parts of the femur so in those parts there is only femoral head which is involved in the hip joint and talking about the pelvis the acetabulum the acetabulum is involved okay so basically acetabulum uh, articulates with the head of the femur to form the uh, hip joint okay now what ha what's happening here is since the acetabulum is concave in shape and femur is convex in shape so the concavity the concavity of the acetabulum it provides the stability to the convex femoral head okay so this was all about the bone now next we will talk about the ligament okay so there are various number of ligaments which provide the stability to the hip joint okay let's talk about it one one by one first one is your iliofemoral ligament okay iliofemoral ligament what does iliofemoral ligament do so basically uh, it is the strongest ligament of our body and it prevents the backward falling of the trunk during standing and it also limits the hyperextension and the external rotation of the hip okay so this was all about the iliofemoral ligament the next ligament is your pubo femoral ligament pubo femoral ligament the function of the pubo femoral ligament is it also limits the hyperextension and the abduction of the hip okay the third one is your ischio femoral ligament okay ischio femoral ligament now what does a ischio femoral ligament do it limits the hyperextension and the medial rotation of the hip joint okay the fourth uh, ligament is your ligamentum teres okay ligamentum teres the ligament uh, ligamentum teres it basically transmit the arteries to the head of the femur so it basically provides the pathway of the arteries to the head of the femur the fifth one is your transverse ligament transverse ligament now what does transverse ligament do so transfer uh, transverse ligament it converts the acetabular notch into acetabular foramen so uh, what uh, so how this conversion uh, really helps so it basically provides the passage for the nerves and the blood vessels so what does it do it provides the passage for the nerve and the blood vessels by converting the acetabular notch into the acetabular foramen okay so this was all about your ligament part okay so the third one is we have discussed about the bone ligament so the third one is capsule and the acetabular labrum so uh, as you all know there is a capsule which is also known as hip joint capsule okay hip joint capsule what does this capsule do so it basically envelop the hip joint okay it envelops the hip joint surround hip joint okay and it protects the uh, articular surface of the hip joint and it also support the hip joint so these are the two function of the hip joint capsule so the last and the uh, fourth part is fourth structure is acetabular labrum acetabular labrum so what is acetabular labrum so it is a fibrocartilaginous rim 
फाइब्रो कार्टिलेजिनस रेम ओके फाइब्रो कार्टिलेजिनस रेम एंड इट होल्ड द हेड ऑफ द फीमर इन अ पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन ओके होल्ड्स द हेड ऑफ फीमर इन पोजिशन ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द फैक्टर्स और द स्ट्रक्चर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू प्रोवाइड द स्टेबिलिटी टू द हिप ज्वाइंट कॉम्प्लेक्स द नेक्स्ट विल टॉक अबाउट इज योर पैथोलॉजीज ऑफ द pathologies of the hip complex okay hip complex so there are in total 10 pathologies that i am going to discuss here in this video uh, i'll talk about it one by one okay and those 10 pathologies are congenital hip dislocation okay congenital hip dislocation second one is coxa plana third one is coxa vera fourth one is femoral antiversion fifth one is coxa valga sixth one is osteoarthritis seventh is fracture in the neck of femur okay fracture of neck of femur eighth is ilio tibial band syndrome okay band syndrome ninth one is trochanteric bursitis bursitis 10th one is hamstring strain okay so these are the 10 uh, pathologies which i am going to discuss in this video and we will talk about this one by one so the first one is congenital hip dislocation by the word itself uh, it says that there is dislocation of the hip which is due to congenital or by birth okay so the second one is coxa plana coxa plana happens when there is necrosis in the femoral head and when there when there will be necrosis then the femoral head structure will and be and there will be certain deformity in the femoral head in the structure of the femoral head so the in femoral head is originally convex in uh, in structure but when it will go under necrosis then the femoral head will be flattened okay now the third one is coxa vera in coxa vera it is also the abnormality in the neck of femur and here the angle of inclination is decreased okay and if we talk about coxa valga then angle of inclination angle of inclination is increased but in case of coxa vera angle of inclination is decreased okay and in coxa plana femoral head necrosis happening femoral necrosis sorry femoral necrosis in head okay in head now what's happening in the femoral antiversion so in femoral antiversion it is basically the abnormality of the shaft of femur in which the shaft of the femur rotates medially okay shaft of femur it is the abnormality of the shaft of femur and shaft of femur rotate medially and there is one more point uh, i should say in note to this uh, femoral antiversion is that in femoral antiversion there is toe out gate is seen okay toe out gate okay now let's talk about the osteoarthritis what is osteoarthritis osteo means bone arthritis means joint inflammation okay so it is basically the abnormality of the hip joint in which the articular cartilage uh, degenerates okay now if you talk about the fracture of the neck of femur so there is discontinuity of the bone discontinuity of the femoral bone and uh, there is fracture in the neck of the femur okay 
and uh, the next one is iliotibial band syndrome what is iliotibial band syndrome so basically it is the abnormality of the iliotibial band okay or the it band uh, so whenever uh, this uh, disease happen iliotibial band syndrome happen what's happening there is the tensor fascia lata okay i'm writing the muscle name here tensor fascia lata okay tensor fascia lata it rubs over the bone which results in the lateral knee pain okay so here in the iliotibial band syndrome uh, what's happening in the iliotibial band syndrome is your tensor fascia lata muscle it rubs over the bone which results in the lateral knee pain okay lateral knee pain knee pain and uh, the second last is your trochanteric bursitis so it is basically the inflammation of the trochanteric bursa okay inflammation of the trochanteric bursa which results in the pain and the swelling uh, in the surrounding area the last one is your hamstring strain so it is basically the abnormality of the hamstring muscle okay so there is tearing of the tearing of hamstring muscle okay hamstring muscle which results in the localized pain or the tenderness and it could be both uh, in the hamstring muscles so this was all about in the pathologies of the hip joint and the stability factors or the structures responsible for the stability of the hip joint so here uh, i have discussed everything uh, related to the hip complex now it's up to you uh, if you think that uh, i have left out certain topics or some topics needs to be discussed please let me know in the comment section and i'll uh, totally try to uh, read it again the hip complex and i'll totally make a video on it i'll make a separate video on it uh, in the upcoming videos so thank you so much for watching this video